hard to believe that just a year ago, Jan Pope, in her own words, was grossly overweight and extremely unfit. The 52-year-old weighed 19 stone, but has now turned her life around by eating healthier and coming to her local gym in Atterborough six times a week. She's lost seven stone in just 12 months and said the trigger was when a blood test showed she would need to take medication for type 2 diabetes. I went for an annual review at my surgery for my high blood pressure and um, part of that is a blood test and they took a, a reading for my blood sugar um, and that came back in the pre-diabetic range. So from that they then wanted to do a follow-on test which would have confirmed a uh, diagnosis of type 2 diabetes and would have meant going on to medication and I just basically said no I know what I need to do and I need to put the changes in place now. But Jan's story comes as thousands more patients in the county are being taken to hospital each year because they're obese. Almost 17,000 patients in Norfolk and Suffolk were admitted in 2015 to 16 because of obesity. That figure, which comes from new data published by the NHS, reveals a 60% rise in three years. Treating it through admissions and prescriptions costs the NHS in Norfolk around £25 million a year, according to a Norfolk County Council report on public health. But that's expected to increase by £13 million in the next eight years. Andy Jones is a professor in public health at the UEA Norwich Medical School. In the past we would have walked, now we tend to get in the car. I mean a big change is the sort of jobs that we do. In the past again many more people would have been involved in manufacturing, physically active jobs where they're burning energy and now most of us sit behind a desk. So we have to actually make a conscious decision to get out there and burn those calories and, and that's difficult to do because we all have busy lifestyles. The Norfolk County Council does take measures to reduce obesity. They fund exercise groups and provide activities for children. Last year they also made a 12-week course with Slimming World available to up to 2,600 people who needed to lose weight. And Jan, who works as a healthcare assistant for the NHS, explains how it feels to shed the pounds. I feel so much more energetic. I've actually come off my high blood pressure medication I had the follow-up blood test and I'm no longer even pre-diabetic, so I'm in completely normal ranges for that. So my health has improved, my lifestyle has improved, it's given me a lot more confidence. Christina Brinkley, Mustard TV, Attleborough.